Paul is saying that every single person who is in Christ has been commissioned by God as an ambassador for Christ. In other words, what Paul is saying is, if you are sitting here this morning and you are a new creation in Christ, you have been born again, that moment of you being in Christ is, in one sense, your commissioning as an ambassador. Paul, in Philippians chapter 3, uses another metaphor for this. He says, when you are in Christ, you have been given a heavenly citizenship. So think about that picture for a moment. When you come to faith in Jesus Christ, it is as though the God of the universe takes your Canadian passport and hands you a passport for heaven. Your citizenship has functionally changed. Now, citizenship is a really interesting concept. It's actually something in our modern sense that was developed in the Roman world right about this same time that these documents were written in the New Testament. And the reason that they developed citizenship was because there was massive overcrowding back in Rome. And as the Roman Empire was stretching out across the known world through wars, soldiers would go out and they would conquer and they would colonize and they would imperialize all these different uh, people groups in Europe and beyond. And then the Roman government would grant these soldiers Roman citizenship. Not so that they could then come back to Rome, but so that they could bring Rome to the outer reaches of the empire. And the same is true with your heavenly citizenship. God has, in Christ, given you a new citizenship, not so that you have your past to get into heaven, but so that you can bring heaven to every place that you go. And so your citizenship that's now in Christ, this is a commissioning, not only as a citizen, but as an ambassador for Christ. Christ. 